Hello everyone, Samson Duck 2, welcome to another type of video, this time on configs. Now, while I have done a few based on just where to find them for certain mods, technically I'll just show you how to do it for either multiple mod loaders or just sort of locations in general. Now, there is technically, I guess, three, four-ish ways to pretty much find out where to find configs this folder specifically, or in the case of 113 and higher server configs, and uh, then I'll show in that sort of like the mod options, mod menu, sort of for in-game configs sort of stuff for those as well. So yeah, uh, we'll start off I guess with 115.2, just because why not, it's the one that I've got the least amount of mods in for now anyways, and most of the 113 and higher stuff will relate to this, should, should be fine, even 116. Uh, but for the most part, you've always got a mod options button here, or mods button. Now, in 112 and before, you'd usually have a fair amount of mods that use the config button here. In 113 and higher, a fair amount of mods probably do, but not a lot do. So you may just be clicking and it's like, oh, okay, what has config access? And it seems not many of them do. Um, so yeah, technically this button probably will work if there is a config that's actually worked in with this menu system, but uh, not many will, uh, at least in my experience after reviewing a thousand, thousands of mods at least, um, across multiple obviously, but uh, yeah, so that's one way of finding them. Uh, technically this would be the second or so, I would say out of the three or four, technically this would I'd count, count as like a fourth, but we'll just count as like the same as the other one that I'm going to go with. Uh, so you got the open mods folder, which will just open obviously a mods folder. And you can access configs from here, and then select the config related to the mod specifically you're wanting to find out the information from. So for example, I don't know, ghost utils for example, and I can see a bunch of things I can tweak, such as the numbers, true or false state, or color hex code or something. So yeah, uh, and the other way of doing this that I'm going to count as pretty much the same as the mods folder one is the resource packs one here. So if you obviously know where the where is it, resource packs folder button is, so do this and it will open up this folder. You'll be in here, go out to .minecraft, don't go into config, you'll be fine. Uh, specifically for 113 and higher though, there is things called server configs, which you can find in your saves folder. So similar to data packs, there'll be a specific folder for these configs and you can find them here, which mostly only applies to mods that are probably server-side, whilst the other ones are more just for, I guess, either client-side mods or just general mods in general that don't have to talk to the server too much, I think, for this, or based on the world specifically too much. Um, but yeah, so that's a thing for 113 and higher versions, and still applies to 116. So there's that if you want. Um, now the resource packs sort of one, or mod sort of one, should work across any mod loader, most likely the resource packs one, because not all of them have a open mods folder button here. So yeah, um, technically if you're using MultiMC, you can use to access a bunch of these different folders already, but if you're using the vanilla launcher, then technically it kind of depends, because you'd mostly be just going to the like version search browse sort of thing, but either way, to keep things simple, probably just go with the resource packs folder button one, or just mod options button if you have that for Forge. Uh, the other way though, which is technically the third one, is uh, finding .minecraft by simply, at least in Windows, I can't say for um, Mac or Linux because I'm not familiar enough with those systems and how it actually, you know, installs Minecraft and where it puts things for them, so I can't say for sure. But for Windows, you simply just put, oops, percent apt out percent and you should be fine to select that and you'll be good to go and then you'll pretty much be app data you go to roaming and then you'll find dot minecraft in there and it should be fine and that'll obviously be just like you know under c drive users blah 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 app data etc so that's so that's pretty much like your typical ways of finding things now for other mod loaders if you were using something like fabric or light loader or rift for example um so for Fabric, you would have something like Mod Menu here. So specifically this. 
and you're good to go. And I'll just cut to forward one quick moment before I get. Uh, for those actually wanting to access the mod menu or mod options button in the pause menu or game menu, definitely download this mod as it brings back that button here, which was removed. So for any versions 113 to 116, you can easily access this if you want to see the mod list. So I definitely recommend that. And I'll put it in the description, of course. Back to fabric now. So, uh, mod menu obviously allows you to pretty much similar to the mod options button and such, view a mod list, but also tweak your configs. So while I'm in 114, um, it should still work, but uh, you see a cog here, or in later versions of it, you'll see like a list with like dots and lines to indicate a list. And you can see obviously with Roughly enough items, for example, you've got a bunch of options here to tweak. So you've got yes or no, you've got like different states. I don't know if it's going to crash or something. No, nope, I guess it's just working stuff out. Um, enable and disable, and a bunch of things that can change, like commands and such. So there's that, and that's sort of like your typical uh, config like experience. Um, if you were using Fabric inside a menu or certain buttons still in the game compared to still yet again accessing via folders if you wanted to still you can still do that uh, but there's no server configs for fabric only for forge so keep that in mind uh, otherwise we've got rift which does have a mod list as well but doesn't usually have um, any config access so you've just got like a visit website button a description about the mod and then that's it uh, which I will show in here, specifically other mods that have certain menus, which you might come across with like HUD mods or certain other things, or like Discord preference sort of stuff. Uh, presence, I should say. So we'll just go in here. Or mini maps technically count. So if we just go here, so that's a grid. That's all we want. So we've got, say, mod uh, voxel map. We've got stuff we can access here. Bunch of options, which you can get via key binding. Or in the case of something like Craft Presence, you've also got a bunch of options here. So you can just like select a bunch of things depending on like if you're using multi MC technic, um, selecting different options for characters, and custom messages, and certainly other. Now I don't have Discord open, so I can't show. But either way, you've got menus like that where you can change things, um, or just going into a certain button there. Or you've got certain others that add a button here, like custom selection box, which allows you to just move the sliders, select buttons, and it'll change um, sort of the outline here, as you can see. So there's that, cases like that in game. Uh, and then you've got light loader, which is specifically a menu at the side, which you'll see in the pause menu as well as on the title screen. And you've got a bunch of options here for selecting tick boxes, basically. So you can enable or disable certain features you don't want. Uh, other than that though, that's pretty much it uh, of just like go to the resource packs folder if you need to find certain configs or server configs, use menus if you need to, if they do have configs you can access that way, or just other means where it's just like, you know, in game there's said menu you press with a key binding and then you're good to go to bring up the um, minimap settings or the craft presence discord settings or some other things for huds or something but yeah that's pretty much it in terms of how you can access configs uh, regardless of mod loader or specific to set mod loaders thanks so much for watching and goodbye